Hello everyone. Welcome to Cosine.net. My name is Piyush and today I'm going to discuss about that how can you secure the single user mode in RHEL file. Now everyone know that uh, if you forget the root password what you need to do you need to go to the single user mode and in the single user mode you can able to reset the root password because it does not ask for any password while getting in. Now this is not on only known to you it is on also known to the attackers. So let's say uh, attacker get the physical access of your system of your server then he can also able to get into your system without asking for the password. Why? Because you have not set any password in the single user mode you know that in the single user mode it does not prompt for the password now you need to secure this okay if you'll not secure this your server is not secure your workstation is not secure it's not at all secure so today we are just going to discuss that how can you secure the single user mode now it's a very simple trick it's a very simple method for doing it so just need to open a terminal just open the terminal here now if you want to secure the single user mode it's really easy just you need to put this line just copy this line inside slash etc slash init tab file okay open this file in this file go go to line number uh, 29 and just below the 29th line number in the 30th line number paste it See, I have just pasted it. It's already pasted in my system because I have already secured my uh, single user mode. So you'll find that in the 30th line, I've written the, exactly the same thing. Okay, SU colon uppercase S, then I've written wait, S bin, SU login. Okay, now if I want to describe that, what is this? I can write it here. This this protects single user mode okay so after writing this what you need to do save this and we are going to test it whether it's working or not so I'll type init 6 for booting now I have not changed the default run level so I need to interrupt the boot process and then I need to tell the kernel that boot into the single user mode instead of okay booting into the default run level what we have defined so right now my system is booting now let me tell you this will only work on RHEL 5 and the previous version of Red Hat it will not work on the current version that is RHEL 6 so for the RHEL 6 if you want to secure the RHEL 6 then I'm going to come up with the next video and that you can check that how can you secure the uh, single user mode okay for the RHL 6 operating systems now as I told you you have to interrupt the boot process after interrupting press E now select the kernel line again press E now at the end of this kernel line put a space and press 1 okay one means single user mode or you can also use uppercase S now after putting this hit enter and again press B to boot I'm just testing okay if anyone is trying to get into I think everyone know that how can you get in the single user mode I'm just checking that whether it's asking for the password or not after putting that argument so system is booting I'm using RHEL 5.4 version operating system now in this video we are going to check both of the things first I'm telling you telling you how to secure this after that I'll tell you that how can you break it okay if it is already secured so both of the sites I'll tell you now see your system is booted okay now it has it is asking for the password see in the single user mode generally everyone knows that it does not ask but here it asks so give the password here I've given the password I got the cell access now check run level so see where you are you are inside the single user mode and before getting the single user mode it asks for the password so our uh, work is done here but okay so I'll go to the fifth run level now now let's say someone has already protected 
the single user mode okay with the password and you want to break it you want that okay you got a system you want to get into that system let's say you became the attacker and you know the method how to attack a system and how to get into the system without asking for the password so i'll tell you that how can you break it okay how can you get into that system so let the system is be booted it's getting booted now i got the access now i have already prepared a documentation here so i'll pose a documentation also now let me open the documentation here so here i have created documentation trips tips and tricks now see we have did the same thing here so if you forget the root password typically we are going to the single user mode and we are changing the password and that is not secure that's why we are i'm telling you to secure it and we have did the same thing and we have secured the root password okay in the single user mode now i'm going to tell you the next trick how can you rescue the password of the root even though the single user mode is protected so it's it's really easy method it's really easy now see here while booting select a specific kernel like that, that means while booting select the kernel press e select the kernel line in the second line at the end of the end of the kernel line you need to append init is equal to bin bash okay we'll do the same thing we'll try the trick we'll boot in the single we'll reboot my system okay after rebooting i will test the same thing it's taking some time to reboot my system the booting process of rhl5 is very slow now yeah you need to interrupt the boot process yes i have interrupted now press e while booting okay someone has protected his system someone has given the uh, password in the single user mode also and you are going to rescue it okay you are getting you are getting into your system which is already protected so how can you get into a system which is already protected i'm going to tell you that so select the kernel press e now select the next line okay the second line that is the kernel line and again press e now press space here and put in it is equal to slash bin slash bash okay so what you're telling you are telling you are instructing the kernel that start the init process process and just tell the init process to start a shell okay don't tell the init to initialize any other run level just tell the init to initialize the shell so if i'll get the shell access if i'll directly get the shell access i can able to do anything with my system okay i can able to restore the password i can able to do any modification in my system see it will give you the shell access now it's trying to boot so directly it will give me the bash shell see i got directly got i just directly got the shell now check in which run level you are if you type who hyphen r tells you that you are in run level 6 you know that run level 6 is what it's for rebooting so it's it's say it's telling you a invalid run level because we have not initialized any of the run levels now here you can do anything with the system now if you want to restore the root password see you got the shell access it does not ask for the password here also okay now here you need to run mount hyphen o remount comma read and write and slash and after that you can set the password here so you can write p a s s w d okay and you can give the root name here and you can reset the password here okay see the password got restored okay i have rescued the root password so in the first scenario we have seen that how can you secure it 
and in the second scenario we have seen that how can you okay break it and if a system is already secure then how can you get into the system okay so thank you for watching my video thank you all guys